Hello and welcome to Mastering AWS featuring SQS. I am your instructor, Alston Godbolt. Today we are going to do a brief course introduction. So in this course, we are going to talk about Simple Queue Service. It is one of AWS Amazon Web Services oldest services. Uh, so we're going to cover that in depth in this course. So we are going to talk about what is SQS. SQS again stands for Simple Queue Service. We'll cover some SQS use cases. We'll also discuss where to find it in the AWS Management Console. We will practice SQS in a few different ways. We are going to practice SQS on the command line in the AWS Management Console and via a software development kit. Now the software development kit that we'll use for this course will be Node.js slash JavaScript. And so we'll actually cover all of that throughout the duration of this course. We're also going to talk about what is cloud computing. We'll talk about what is AWS, why Amazon Web Services. We, were, we are going to take a very deep dive into this service. Uh, so who should enroll in this course? This course is for you if you are new to either cloud computing or Amazon Web Services. If you understand or if you're familiar with Amazon Web Services or cloud computing, but you want to, if you want to learn how to use SQS on the command line or the uh, software development kit, if you've never used the service before, this, ser this course is definitely for you. If you are a small business owner, a large business owner, if you work in e-commerce, if you're a manager, if you're a programmer, so really anybody and everybody should take this course. Now, the, one of the reasons why this course is for people that are non-programmers or, or non-IT related is Simple Queue Service can help make your business more efficient. We will talk throughout this course how this service will make your business more efficient. In addition to what we'll discuss, I'll give you a couple of use case examples. I'll give you real life examples that you can apply, you can take back to your office or job and, and apply them right away. Why you should enroll in this course. This course is built in two layers. We're going to cover the foundation. The foundation doesn't involve lectures, uh, discussion. Uh, we'll do a SQS introduction. Why you should enroll in this course. This course is built in two layers. First, we're going to cover the foundation. We're going to talk about SQS as an introduction. We are going to cover the features and benefits. We are going to cover the key terms and take a deep dive. The next layer, uh, we are going to program in the console, the command line, and via the SDK. Now you need to understand the foundation, the, the foundation that we're building in order to successfully program in the console, the command line, and the SDK. In addition, my background includes both programming as well as uh, teaching adult students. I am AWS certified, and that's all stuff that we'll discuss in later lectures. So how will this course assist you? It will give you a better, more deeper understanding of Amazon Web Services and SQS. You can run your business, manage your business more efficiently by using SQS or at least understanding how to use SQS. You can increase business, possibly save money, and make for happier customers. In addition, you'll learn a little bit of programming. A little bit of programming never hurt anyone, so this course will help you with that. You will learn programming in the command line as well as the SDK, the Software Development Kit. Now, AWS offers a few different SDKs. I'm just choosing Amazon because that's what I'm most comfortable with. If you would like to use a different SDK, you are free to do that. It's just my personal choice. So this is the course format. We are going to create a free AWS account. We'll talk a little bit about the free tier and what that includes. We will cover a quick brief introduction into SQS. Uh, then we'll talk about AWS Cloud9. Cloud9 is an IDE slash environment that will make our lives much easier. Uh, we will review the SQS in the console. Uh, we'll do a quick brief introduction into Amazon Web Services. Then we will take that deep dive into SQS. That's when we'll talk about key terms. We'll talk about some features and benefits more in depth. We'll cover a number of topics in that deep dive. Then we will do the, uh, in my opinion, the, the most fun part. We will do a little bit of programming. 
we will create queues, we'll send messages, we'll delete messages, we'll make some modifications to the visibility timeouts and all of that good stuff. We'll do that in the console, the command line, and using the SDK. And we'll use Cloud9 for the command line and the SDK, but the console is just the, the user interface, the web user interface. Then we will uh, conclude the course. We'll talk about everything that we've covered, both in the foundation and the, the next level stuff that we cover. And then uh, there is a bonus content for you. All right, so each section of the course will feature a section introduction. So we'll cover uh, what we'll basically set up each uh, section of the course. Then we will cover relevant material, whether that's the programming aspect or the deep dive or the overviews. Um, and then we will review and conclude each, each section, and each section will have references. Now, most of these references will be to AWS resources, basically what I've covered and learned and taught you, but I also want you to see where I'm getting my information from. By the end of this course, you will be able to list the features and benefits of both SQS and AWS. You will know and understand the key terms like long polling, decoupling, visibility timeout. You will understand the role that SQS has in the AWS ecosystem. Um, it will make much more sense to you. You'll have a kind of a behind the scenes look into AWS. You will be able to send and receive messages via the console, the command line, the SDK. Uh, we'll also change the visibility timeouts and delete messages and delete queues. Uh, we will do a whole host of things via the command line, the console, and the SDK. You will be able to create an EC2 instance and a Cloud9 environment. That is a pretty useful tool to have if you plan on continuing your studies with Amazon Web Services. Uh, using Cloud9 will cut your stress and time in half, and you'll see why once we once we get into it. For this course, you will need an AWS account, internet access, and basic knowledge of programming slash command line. I will help you create that AWS account. That actually happens pretty quick in this course. Internet access, of course, I cannot help you with. Um, and basic knowledge of programming slash command line. Now, when I say basic knowledge, it's basically entering a command and pressing enter. Everything that we do here is going to be so basic. Uh, that you should not feel lost or intimidated. And finally, uh, I do want to say thank you for enrolling in this course. It does mean a lot to me that you have opted to spend your time and your energy learning AWS with me. Um, I am excited. I can't wait to learn from you. I guarantee you I will learn as much from you as you learn from me. And I can't wait to see what we build together. So thank you for thank you very much. Thank you for enrolling in the course. And I will see you soon.